I was um, a foundling. I was found um, in a paper bag in King William IV Street in London and taken to a hospital and then to a care home in um, Kentish Town. And I stayed there until I was 15 months old and I was subsequently adopted. I knew that I was adopted, but I only became aware of the fact that I was a foundling in the early 80s when I sought to find out who my birth parents were. And then um, in my early 40s, my adopted mother died, my adopted father already died. And then my aunt, my father's sister, um, told me about the circumstances where I was found and how um, her and her sister had read about this baby being found um, in a couple of the London um, newspapers. And eventually I was able to track down a couple of newspaper reports about, about that and also um, to have some baby pictures because I'd never had a picture of me as a baby. So that was really exciting. Um, so, yeah, and since then, I've got to know a lot of other foundlings and I've written and talked quite a lot about, about the, the thing of not having, not knowing your origins, um, but, and how to build an identity around the fact that you were a foundling and the things that can sort of nurture and support that. I mean, foundling wasn't even a word in my vocabulary except, you know, Tom Jones or something, but not, not real. And so I was, yeah, I was really shocked. And I, at that point, I felt that that was the end of a road, but it turned out not to be because I was able to use that fact of being a foundling to build on my kind of knowledge and understanding about the needs of um, babies and small children when they're developing and understanding that those children that were foundlings and were brought up in or spent their early years in children's homes would have had a very different experience from a birth child in a nurturing home with, with parents. I was determined that I was going to nurture my children as best I could. And I've recently become um, a granny, which is great. And watching my older daughter with her little girl, it's so... It's just so moving and so perfect and as it should be and what every child needs and deserves. And I know that I didn't have that and lots of other children that started their life in care or went on during their childhood to be taken into care, do you know, they lack that security. And I think that can have a big impact on your sense of self and your sense of confidence and all of those things that are important. But I also think um, that we can overcome those disadvantages. The reason why I'm so keen to support National Care Leavers Week is that I know from personal experience and from other people that, that I've talked to and spent time with, that the experience of being in care, whether it be when you're a tiny baby or whether you're taken into care um, as an older child, does have, um, we know it has, a, a a poor impact on people's life chances in terms of things like um, academic success, employment, all the rest of it. And um, these children, these children are as precious as our children that we bring up and love, and they need all the support that they can have and all the opportunities and more. And um, I think the message I would like to give out really is that where you begin in life is not necessarily where you end up in life.